We're just a week away from the holiday shopping season, and for one retailer, Sears, the stakes could not be higher. Today, Sears reported that it lost more than half a billion dollars just between August and October. We asked Dean Reynolds to look into why Sears is hemorrhaging money. The Sears store nearest the corporate headquarters in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, is a showcase of goods from TV sets to easy chairs, apparel to appliances. What we didn't see, though, were many customers. And farther from the mothership in some of its 799 other stores, there are barren shelves and dark, uninviting spaces. Retail analyst Brian Sazi took these photos. There are supposed to be people in charge making sure inventory and in sneakers, in underwear, in undergarments is in stock. And from the pictures that we took, Sears is not doing that. Along with the 1,200 Kmarts it owns, Sears has lost more than $4 billion since 2010. The company that helped create the American consumer culture with its iconic catalog and anchored malls from coast to coast has had a very hard time courting the middle class shoppers it depends on. A predicament shared by rivals J.C. Penney and Kohl's. A financial performance is not what it needs to be. Lena Munjal is a Sears vice president. Our focus is looking ahead. How do we change our strategy to be able to react to the things that are happening, not just in retail, but transformation generally happening all around us. Sears is rushing to go online big time and ease in-store shopping with the newest technology like mobile checkout scanners. But still, the uh, losses keep piling up, Scott, and the company is now seriously considering spinning off its lands and clothing line as well as its automotive stores to save money. Dean Reynolds in our Chicago newsroom. Thank you, Dean.